Mark Peterson from Trimax Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to call out external threads in SOLIDWORKS. I built up a 3 8 by 16 hex head screw and I want to specify external threads in the part as well as the drawing. I'll begin by going to Insert, Annotations, Cosmetic Thread, and I'll select the edge for the cosmetic thread to start. I have a list of standards that I can choose from. ANSI inch makes sense here. And SOLIDWORKS does a good job of determining what the size should be based off the diameter of the boss. Only in this case I want to choose 16 threads per inch rather than 24. I can change my end condition for example to blind. And let's say I only want those threads to be cut one and a half inches up the shaft there. I will want to select this front face as my starting plane for that. And my cosmetic threads have shown up as I expected. If they did not under document properties and detailing we want to make sure that cosmetic threads and shaded cosmetic threads are both enabled. Let's create a drawing. I have two drawing templates here for different standards. One is ANSI and one is ISO because they handle cosmetic threads slightly differently. We'll start with ANSI. As I drag and drop my front view from my view palette Notice that my callout has been added for me automatically. In some cases, the callout might accidentally be deleted. We can't simply delete the view and add it again in order to get the automatic callout to repopulate. Instead, what we have to do is hover over the, the cosmetic thread until our icon changes, our cursor icon changes, right click, and choose Insert Callout to get it back. This callout is not just available in the front view, but of course we can right click here as well and insert the callout. And we can even use our smart dimension tool to call out the depth here as well. And of course, these are automatically updated with our feature. Let's go back to the part to change our cosmetic thread feature. There are two ways to do this. One, is to right click in the graphic area over the cosmetic thread and choose edit feature or we can use our feature manager filter by typing cosmetic here and this will filter out all features with the word cosmetic in it. If I right click here I can choose edit, edit feature as well. Let's change this to a 24 threads per inch and let's say up to next here. As I control tab back over to my drawing sheet, you'll notice that our annotations have updated as we expected. There is a slight difference between the ANSI and ISO standard in our drawings. Let's take a look at the difference here as I choose my ISO standard drawing. When I drag out my front view, notice here that my callout was not added automatically. However, I can still zoom in right click on my cosmetic thread and choose to insert the callout from here. 